Interesting defense by Dusty Baker. He's going to concede the run if it's hit to the right side. Left side instead. That's a laser. One nothing. You may have blinked twice. The Sox have scored once. Two fastballs. It's a triple and a double. So the Sox came in with a game plan. And that was jump on every fastball they see because opponents have hit .068 against slider. One nothing. White Sox lead the Astros as we start the second. Jordan Alvarez stands in. Oh, boy. That was like the American Eagle at Great America. He just struck out three in a row and three really tough hitters. That's a biting breaking ball, and Alvarez swings over the top of it. Nice pick by Zach Collins. He applies the tag. <laughs> struck him out. Oh, boy. Way behind the fastball. That's four in a row for Dylan Cease. One, two, coming. He struck him out. The baseball's become an expert dancer tonight. Five straight strikeouts, Steve. Really loves to hit any time, but especially his career numbers with the bases loaded are incredible. Oh, my goodness. Line drive, fair ball, splashing around down the line and right. Altuve will score. Brantley to third. Two RBI double by Yuli Gurriel. And the Astros lead this game two to one. Cease is lucky that it's soaking wet out there. Otherwise, three runs would have scored. That ball just died in the outfield as it splashed around. I don't have that in my repertoire right there. That's just great hitting. And that's what being long through the strike zone and long with your barrel does. Two down for Brantley, who got plunked in the third. Oh, Michael, Michael sends one deep down the right field That's line, fair. hooking, and fair. that ball is gone. Home run, Michael Brantley, number six on the year, and the Astros lead this game three to one. Watch his hands come in. In, barrel, straight through. It's beautiful. One of the prettiest swings in the oh. game. I resent that, too. Bottom of the fifth inning, Lance McCullough Jr. set to work to the bottom third of Chicago's order. Swing and a miss, got him. Strikeout number six for McCullers. Sheets out of Wake Forest, made his debut against the Twins. At the end of last month as he grounds the 2-0 pitch to Altuve. Paul is going to try and put down a fastball. There you go, ground ball. Nice sliding stop by Abraham Toro, who can take his time on the throw, getting Collins a 1 2 3 inning for Lance McCullers. We're through five. McCullers looking strong. 3 1 Astros. Ground oh, ball Space towards in. the middle. No That's going to score a run. The ball's bobbled. Yuli will stay in third, but the Astros score a run. It's 4 to 1 on the infield hit by Kyle Tucker, who battled with two strikes. Bummer hits Abraham Toro with a pitch to load the bases. Like that ball. There's is. a ball down the line. That's a fair ball towards the corner. That's going to score at least two. Coming around third, being waved home. Abraham Toro. He will be safe at home plate. A bases clearing double by Miles Straw. Astros break this game open. It's now seven to one. That's how you do it. You get beat by two fastballs and you get a third one. And even if they played towards the line, they wouldn't have got that one. Great job by Miles. Well, they maybe got to the ball a little quicker. Yeah. Back out there, Lance McCullers sitting at 79 pitches. That's filthy right there. That's a two-seamer that starts in the middle of the plate. That's filthy. On a 2-2 two -two pitch, Goodwin has no chance nah, of that. None. Oh, and two on Vaughn. Swing and a fair. miss, three pitch strikeout. Andrew Vaughn goes down. That's nine strikeouts for McCullers and three in a row going back to last inning. Yeah. Call yeah, third is. strike, top of the zone. McCullers fired up coming off the mound as he strikes out the side in the seventh. Season high, 10 strikeouts for the right hander. Scrub taking over here in the bottom half of the ninth inning. Now the game ends with an Andre Scrub strikeout. 
The Astros now 5 and 0 on the season against the Chicago White Sox as they win the opening game of this weekend series by the score of 7 to 1. Baggy, that's quite a way to kick things off coming out of the All-Star break. 